I crashed onto a huge ocean planet, and now I'm racing against time to find a way home. Here, I discover massive sea creatures, both beautiful and dangerous, along with mysterious biomes deep under the sea. Watch as I build advanced technology to uncover the secrets of an ancient alien civilization. This is how I survived 100 days in Subnautica. Yo, there's a fire! Get up! Is that a fire extinguisher? Get the fire extinguisher! I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying! Take, take! Spray, spray, spray! Yes! Oh, we good? I get out of my ship and dive into the ocean below. <gasps> Whoa! It's a peepers! Peepers, I'm gonna catch ya. Oh, I got ya. Oh, I got a little fish! <laughs> Aw, look at the cute little peeper. It's adorable. Alright, so collect shiny rocks. Collect this. Scrap or metal salvage, yes. Here's another rock rock. Pound that rock and take the shiny. I use the materials to build an improved oxygen tank, which should allow me to dive for longer. With some more water and food in my pockets, I explore at night and find some glowing vines that I can turn into lubricant. With all my gathered materials, I manage to build a scanner. A self-scan. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Well, that's good at least. Next, I fabricate a knife and try to use it to hunt for fish. Better run, Peeper. I've got a knife. And I'm coming closer. Closer. I don't know. It's not really needed. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Huh. <sighs> what is the bullet? What just happened? What's your deal? Shuttle bug. Can you stop moving so I can scan you? What do you do? You're a scavenger. You're of little threat. Yeah, you don't really do it. You're a waste recycler. Ha! You're a poop number. Finally, I've gathered enough to make a repair tool. I repair the life pod, then fix the broken radio. I'm surprised to find a message on the radio already, but it's really just telling me that not a single ship seems to be nearby to pick up my distress signal. I grab some more fish for food and get some more materials. Oh, peepers! I've got your friend. You should join us. Heck are you? Well, he seems chill. Hold on. Gasopod. <laughs> are you like the Squidward of the ocean? They're social? <laughs> Hi, how was your day? <laughs> I saw an alien today. <laughs> oh, did you spit gas acid at him? <laughs> yes. Incredibly beautiful social creatures. I check my radio again and find a new message from LifePod 3. They beg not to get left behind while they make some necessary repairs. I receive their coordinates. Then start my journey to reach the location. Oh, we've got our social squidwards over here. <laughs> what is this? Stalker tooth. <laughs> oh, I got jumped! How long ago was that distress signal? This place looks like it's falling apart. I pick up a compass blueprint and gain a sea glide blueprint. Then I swim back to my own pod. With all the materials that I collected, I can make an even better oxygen tank and the sea glide. I check my radio and receive another message. This time it's warning me about a quantum detonation in the Aurora's core. I watch the ship explode in the distance and now need to prepare for radiation of all things. We need, oh, I need lead. I don't, I don't have lead. Okay. Before getting some lead for the radiation suit, I listen to the radio message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Uh, Aurora went boom, boom. I'm they say they're on the far side, side of the system, system and that it will take them more than a week to reach our location. They end the message saying that they will try again tomorrow to see if they can get a response. Afterwards, I take my sea glide for a swim. Come here, peepers. I'm hungry. <gasps> what is that? Okay, that thing's got a big mouth. <gasps> Fish. We're gonna mashy this. I got lead! I got more lead! We can make a radiation suit and probably- What is this? Seamoth fragment. <laughs> Ow! Can you stop numping on me? Get over here! <laughs> okay, I think it's dead. <laughs> now that there's another one! Furled papyrus? They didn't tell me papyrus was in this game. He's gonna make me some spaghetti. Wait, is that thing sticking to the peeper? It looks like it's trying to suck you, but it's like doing it at range. It's almost like some kind of alien UFO trying to suck you inside for probing. By the time that I get back to my ship, the second radio message from the Sunbeam comes over the radio. This time saying that they are sorry that they didn't know that the ship had crashed, so now they're en route to our location. I craft the radiation suit, then head back out in the direction of the exploded Aurora. 30 seconds. Alright, I'm on it. What is that? What the heck was that? Did I just see some really long red tail of something? Bro, I don't know what I saw, but I don't like it. I'm out. I, 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 I don't know what that was. I think I just like dashed around. Mama. So my eyes did not deceive me. That was definitely a something. I collect as many metals as I can find, then start building a proper base. <laughs> Bro! 
Wow! Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Oh. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Uh-oh. I'm infected. I put some storage lockers in my base, then transfer everything into them. Mamacita! Look at all that storage. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's move over everything over here. Take. Give. Mine. No! I derped! Uncook it! Uncook it! Do I at least get some water out of the cooked version? Only a little bit. How do you uncook something? All right, excellent. Shinies have been transferred. With my storage well stocked, I craft and deploy a mobile vehicle bay, then find the last Seamoth fragment, completing its blueprint. <gasps> Yo, that's a, some kind of saucer right there. That looks pretty cool. Another distress call arrives, this time from LifePod19. The message says that the captain is deceased and that everybody is meant to regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. After the distress call, I check what I need to make the sea moth. I grab the materials from my base and build my first vehicle. Loop, loop, loop. We need to make the vehicle very oil and slick so it can slip into those tight corridors, okay? It's for undersea exploration. Sea moth. All right, let's do it. Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Yo, sweetheart, I'm not going to be swimming when there's a giant fish out there that wants to eat me. I'm going to put a layer of lead between me and that fish. Thank you very much. I dive into a cave with bioluminescent plants and weird purple eels. The pressure at the bottom of the cave is too high for the sea moth, so I swim to explore and grab the rare materials below. Are you a peeper? Oculus. Evil peeper. Come here. I find some of the Aurora's debris nearby and loot the wreck for new blueprints. Battery ch Ooh, I could charge batteries. Modification station. All right, we should go make that. That sounds important. Cooked peeper. Mm. Yes, and cooked Oculus. Now I wonder, what's more tasty? An Oculus or a peeper? Cooked peeper, plus 32, plus 5. Cooked Oculus, plus 30, plus 2. Man, you just can't beat peepers. They're the best. I build a propulsion cannon and a battery charger, then leave to catch fish with the propulsion cannon. Wait, can I grab fishies with this? Hold on. Come. <gasps> I can! <laughs> I've got my fish sucker. Mmm, peepers, are you ready to be sucked? I'm gonna suck you, peepers. Mmm, yes. Oh, I'm gonna suck all these fish. Come, fishy, fishy. Sucky, fishy, yes. Oh, yes. There's no escape. I receive another transmission on my radio and learn that the Sunbeam promises to be on their way. In the meantime, I decide to approach the Aurora's crash site again. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think I got behind it, I think I got behind it. Run, 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 run. After escaping the Leviathan, I find a way up the burning ship and come across some headcrab looking aliens. Wait, I wonder. Hold on. Come here, you. Uh, how do I shoot? Oh, right click. <laughs> to the ocean! I reach the ship's cargo bay and pick up more precious blueprints there. As the sunbeam is about to land, I make sure to be on my way to the landing site. Whoa, what the heck is that? Suddenly, the tower starts shifting, pointing at the sky like some kind of cannon. I receive a transmission from the sunbeam while they enter the planet's atmosphere. Just as they're about to land, some kind of energy beam fires from the alien construct and hits the sunbeam midair. <gasps> It blew it to smithereens! Just like that? With the sunbeam gone, I explore the ocean around the strange building. What the heck is this? Purple tablet fragment. Yo, that looks like Adobe... What's the purple one? Is it Premiere? Premiere Pro! Yeah, we found Premiere Pro! <laughs> Oh, apparently I didn't pay my Adobe subscription. I can't get in until I insert a tablet. Oh. What the? What the heck is that? What are you looking at me for? <gasps> whoa, 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 He pulled me out of my ship. What is your problem? Ah, uh, he's too big for this. It's not working. I'm getting back in. I'm out. Remember <gasps> Diamond. You gather are the property of the all terror corporation go hack yourself you be liable to reimburse the full market price your current bill stands at three million credits three million credits why is it that everything i find belongs to you literally your ship blew up i think you should be more worried about that oh hey a tablet yo we might be able to go inside premiere pro 
Yay! We're gonna edit some sick videos now. Inside, I take a glowing ion cube and find more alien technology. That looks like a gun, give! Alien rifle, give it to me! I want my plasma rifle. I then make it to another force field and open it by using a nearby purple tablet. Inside, I find a strange machine and try to activate it. But the machine grabs my hand and for a moment, it seems as if it was looking right at me. Oh, but instead, pokes my wrist with some kind of stinger. Oh! The device then broadcasts a message that says that I'm infected and can't disable the weapon. I learn about the planet being under quarantine because of an infection caused by alien bacteria named Kara and that I will need to go to a disease research facility to figure out a cure. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off world. All right, well, let's go to that disease research facility and get a cure. I just slice up these trees until I'm not hungry anymore. Whoa, dude, I look scary. <laughs> Did you see that shadow? Man, I look like some kind of like psychotic killer in the night. <laughs> With my new knowledge and new materials, I return to my base. Partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects. What? Hunting? Sharing subject locations with other agents. What? Are they hunting me? And who is they? For now, I build a beacon to mark the location of my base. How does this work? Oh. Aha! Home. P.S. Not Nyamzis. I am not! What part of your beacon? Then, I use my diamonds to build a laser cutter. Next, I make a modification station. It lets me upgrade my knife to a more powerful thermal blade. Oh, you didn't hide in time this time! Come here, you! I want to have a little word with you. Just a bit of- Oh, is that enough to kill it? I wanted to fire knife you. I never got the chance. <laughs> Afterwards, I make a graph trap that helps me gather fish. <gasps> Whoa. That's a- sh What the heck? Oh my lord. Imagine being a fish and you just get grabbed by this and you're just helpless. And then your predator just swims next to you, analyzing you like, hmm, that looks like a nice fishy. Do I want this one? Do I want this one? Oh. Oh, you're coming home with me. And it just grabs you by your head. <laughs> you're squirming. I decide to go explore more of the crashed Aurora. I then find some upgrades and a blueprint for the prawn suit. Ah, what the sucky? Get that off. Die. 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 How dare you? Filthy leech thing. Die. I then find the Aurora's detonated core and repair all of the breaches, stopping the radiation. I reach the living quarters and grab some supplies. When suddenly an alien appears right in front of me like some sort of ghost. What's going on? What? What is this? What? Hi? What? What are you? Foul demon, is that what's hunting me? I search the cabin some more and come across the captain's cabin that I need a code for. Eventually, I leave the way I entered and upgrade my Seamoth with the new mods. Oh heck yeah, you just shove them in. When I get back to my base, I tidy up my inventory, then head back out to the fluorescent caves again. Hi, wormies. Maybe they listen to Morse code. I am friend, not food. Oh, what does that sound? Maybe they're actually... Peaceful? Okay, it's not peaceful. It's not peaceful. It's a bad wormy. Bad wormy. Bad wormy. Go to your room. Bad wormy. That's right. That's right. You go to your room. Afterwards, I stumble upon the location of a Degasi base. It seems abandoned, but I salvage a bunch of new blueprints. Inside, I learn about the Degasi crew's plans to build another habitat even deeper below sea level. Back at my base, I recharge my batteries and take care of my supplies. I receive a transmission from a rescue ship that says they can't reach the Aurora, so they just send some blueprints to the captain's quarters and mention the door code as well. I then upgrade my oxygen capacity. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at all that oxygen. Mmm, that's sweet, sweet oxygen. What's the matter, Boomfish? You stuck? You stuck? You can't get out? Let me help you. It's smack. Ah! Wait, I think that worked. You could slice the Boom Boom fish and it never gets to Boom Boom? <sighs> I have discovered some legendary secrets. Slice the Boom Boom to stop the Boom Boom. <sighs> Boom boom fish! More like slice and diced fish! I get back to my base and build a repulsion cannon and a new stasis rifle. Welcome fishies! It's so nice of you all to volunteer to be my test subjects! Wow, look how many volunteers we have! Look how happy they are to be tested on! Alright, first up we got the stasis rifle. Left click does nothing, right click. 
Whoa. It's like a slow down time field. All right, repulsion cannon. Left click does nothing. Right click. <gasps> okay, these things are pretty strong. Wow. Oh, God. With my new technology, I go back to Leviathan territory and re-enter the Aurora's wreck. I head for the captain's quarters and use the door code. Inside, I find the blueprints sent to the captain, which turn out to be for an escape rocket. Back at base, I make a big upgrade to my habitat. Wait, it's not connected. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ooh, look at all that space. That's what I'm talking about. Not gonna lie, I'm forgetting which locker is which. Uh, put that there. Okay, so we have... This is where the magnetite and lithium goes. This is where diamond, lead, and quartz goes. This is where weird stuff goes, like plants and salts. This is where gold goes. This is where... Go With a lot more space and a lot more storage, I venture out. Whoa, what is that? Is it egg? Ruby? Sir, there's a shiny right there. Can I have... Yeah, that. I want that. Bob, can I Can I please? Thank you, Bob. See, Bob is nice. Bob knows that I'm not yums. Oh, hi. Bob! Bob, that kind of hurts. Hi! Thank you so much. Ah! You're not yourself when you're hungry, Bob. Eat a Snickers. Leave me alone. I managed to find some data in a sunken pod and learn more about the alien disease on this planet. Galaxy hard, you're very kind. Oh my gosh! Get in the ship! Get in the ship! I then collect some new materials around the volcanic caves. Ruby. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh! Bob! Bad Bob! Bob is stuck! Bob is stuck! Help me, Step Dragon! Oh, I'm gonna help you, Bob! I reach another pod and find a data pad that informs me about the survivors' whereabouts. They're supposed to be regrouped on a nearby island, and luckily, I receive the coordinates of their meeting point. I approach their coordinates, hoping to find some of my crewmates. To my surprise, the island there has some jellyfish attached to it that keep the landmass afloat. Picking up multiple what the suck you? That scared me. Fuck you! filthy thing. I find another abandoned habitat with a planter that looks man-made. The structure turns out to be built by the Degasi crew and seems that it hasn't been used in a long time. I pick up a few more blueprints and a purple tablet, then climb the nearby mountains and find more structures and survivor logs. One of the logs is Bart Torgal's final log. He regrets the decision to explore the ocean's depths and says that his time is up, with the Kara inside him getting worse. I get to the meeting point for the Aurora's crew and find a data pad, but it seems that only two of the crew members managed to make it here. Unfortunately, their efforts to reunite and escape were a failure as they were attacked by a leviathan. I safely bring my new items and technology to base. I construct grow beds and plant seeds both inside and outside my habitat. Meanwhile, I clean up my storage and craft ultra fins which will allow me to swim much faster. By using my new homegrown resources, I craft some aerogel. We have two sticky alien balls and we are going to combine them with rubies to make aerogel. Then I construct a water filtration system which will supply my base with drinkable water. Later, I feed scrap metal to some sharks and bait them into breaking their teeth on it. Hey, you boys like metal? Go chomp on this. Sir, can I interest you in some delicious, savory, scrumptious metal? Fresh gourmet metal. Where the heck did it go? Where's my customer? Yo, customers! <gasps> customers! Yo, can I interest you in some delicious, scrumptious metal? Yes, yes. <gasps> Who's a good sharky worky? Now you drop a toothy woothy too. Don't you want the tooth fairy to come visit you? With that done, I assemble everything needed to finish the prawn suit. Ooh, I've got a mech. I got a puncho puncho. What you gonna do? It's time to properly test out my new prawn suit, which allows me to dive much deeper. The next Degasi shelter isn't too far away, but on my way, I have to defend myself against an octopus-like alien. Oh, I found it. What is that? No, bro, no. Bro, I got a mech now. You wanna mess with me? Smack the thing. Yeah, that's right. You better poof away. Oh, it sees me, it sees me. Run, 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 run! What the heck was that? He's doing it again. Wait, I have zero power! After regaining my power and finishing the octopus alien, I salvaged new blueprints and learned more about the Degasi crew's fate. Their research helped them discover that every single living creature on this planet is infected by the alien bacteria. A personal log of Paul Torgal explains how he got separated from the rest of the Degasi survivors and got lost by following a light that he thought was his son down below. With him saying how low his oxygen was and with no habitat to go back to, it's unlikely that he survived. Just around the corner, I find a data pad that tells me how the base was attacked by a leviathan and how the crew fought for their lives. I pick up an orange tablet, then return to my prawn suit and leave. Oh, it's Adobe. Shoot, what's the orange one? Illustrator, we found Adobe Illustrator. Nice. Gotta catch them all. We should probably repair. No, I didn't say beacon. I said repair. 
Oh, I get off of me, you filth! What the heck, man? I thought we were done with those things. They're out here, too? When I get back to base, I receive another transmission. Oh, boy. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. What? Is that me? I must be the new target. Oh boy. Before I reach life pod 2, I find some strange roots connected to a rock formation with big red bulbs on it. Underneath, I find some of the red and collect it for my base. At life pod 2, I learn about the owner's fate along with their struggle to fix an oxygen leak. I leave the pod and head back to base to expand my farm. By salvaging some more scrap metal, I build a large launch platform for the Neptune escape rocket, then an elevator for the platform. Afterwards, I search the nearby mushroom forest biome for missing blueprints. Speak of the devil. Yay! All right, we got moon pool. Let's just get Cyclops. After collecting the Cyclops fragments, I return to my base and connect moon pools to my main room. After docking my vehicles, I assemble the Cyclops at the vehicle bay. I add some upgrades for depth, shield, and energy efficiency right away. Then I dock my prawn suit and take the SS Pro Pawsies to its maiden voyage. Moan! I said moan! About hecking time. How many times do I have to honk at you to get you to moan? Also, hang on, I'm kind of big. Let's be careful about running into each other. Ow, I think we just touched. I explore the depths of the ocean and find a new biome that looks like a fluorescent coral reef. <gasps> what is that? Move! <gasps> I can't move. Oh, heck me, dude. What is happening? Where's that thing? Dude, where's that thing? It was huge. <gasps> oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. He's leaving. Okay. After getting unstuck, I go out and get some resources. Bro, this thing. <gasps> get in the hole! Get in the hole! Oh my gosh. Can I go back, please? I manage to get back to my ship and take it even deeper. The green glow of the biome becomes even more intense down here. I pass by a large skeleton and scan it to learn that it's from a sea dragon. Sea dragon skeleton? Further in, I find a collapsed alien structure which reminds me of the big cannon on the island. Oh no. I didn't bring my Premiere Pro with me! Now I'm getting paywalled out. I can't get in. Alien data reveals how the facility got attacked by a leviathan. The breach caused by the leviathan released an infected specimen and ultimately caused the spread of the Kara. I find some more data that reveals that billions of aliens died due to the infection. They describe the different stages of the lethal infection and mention a research facility dedicated to developing a cure. This also explains those warper aliens as they're a quarantine enforcer unit. At this point, I learned that I've already reached stage two of the infection, causing visible green spots on my skin. Oh, that's really bad. I leave to fetch the key tablets. I also get some supplies at base and replace the vehicle's power cells. Meanwhile, I install some tools and furniture in my Cyclops. Then, I venture out to explore a wreck near Life Pod 19. Here, I find more technology to install at my base. I build an upgrade console for my moon poles and start working on upgrades for my vehicles. I also craft a reinforced dive suit and use it to replace my radiation suit. Wait, I can put a locker on the ladder! Perfect, and I can still climb! I I, I like that placement. Actually, this one's even better. Perfect. It's a defense mechanism. If my ship ever gets boarded, they'll never be able to reach the top because they won't know how to climb the ladder. Yay, asymmetry. Fun. Isn't it beautiful how there's this random space here and how this one is lower than all the others? Beauty. Oh, I can put a locker on the locker. <laughs> Is this enough, chat? Do we have enough space? Then, I transfer my materials to the SS Pro Posi storage room. Isn't it nice how neatly the locker opens through the other locker? Efficiency. Afterwards, I venture out and find more blueprints for the prawn suit arms. What the heck makes that sound? Oh no! No! Bad! Bad thing! Oh, I'm out! This looks terrifying. Bro, I don't wanna go here. I'm out. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. This looks useful. Okay, that gets us the drill arm. Will other arms be here too? Ooh. Ooh, grapple arm fragment. Hello. We're getting three arms here. Let's go, baby. Back at base, I construct and install the prawn suit's grapple and drill arms. 
Whoa. Yo, that mobility is actually kind of good now. Holy crap. I was so sluggish before, but now you could like slingshot around. That's epic. <laughs> I then take the prawn suit into the deep caves for some needed resources. You know what? I got an idea. Come here, you. Oh, you like that? Oh, you can't shake me off. I've grappled into you, buddy. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Oh my gosh! Get me out, get me out, get me out! I'm stuck in a tree! Nickel! Yeah! Oh! Nickel! Nickel! Yes! Yes! After that exploration, I install upgrades to make the prawn suit and cyclops go even deeper. Bro, go straight up! Oh! Go in! Suck me! Suck me! Yay! I got sucked inside. Good. With all these preparations done, I take my cyclops back to the deep caves and find the alien facility again. I use the purple tablet to open the locked door in the alien structure. I discover research data on different infected species. They mention a leviathan in extreme depths with immunity against the Kara. Okay, so 1.4 kilometers down volcano. I need to go even deeper. I'm 800 right now. I find an entrance to a tunnel with volcanic activity. <gasps> You don't hear me! 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 All right, we should probably like repair. What are these noises? What are you? Did you just get off my ship? Hey! Get off my ship! What are you doing? Am I gonna have to bring out the repulsor cannon? It appears to lack sight and smell. Was able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy. It's sucking my power! Get the heck off my ship! Get off! What the heck is this? Marshmallows? Uh, <gasps> wait. Shit! My lockers! My lockers! I knocked my lockers off! Oh my gosh! After recovering my sinking resources, I go even deeper. While exploring the lava caves, I keep defending my ship, but try to stay out of sight of the massive sea dragon leviathan. Oh my gosh! What is that? I hate that I have to look at you sucking the energy out of my ship right there. How do you even do that? I want you to know that I hate you. I hope that hurts your feelings. I upgrade my vehicle's depth modules with some kyanite to be able to dive to the level mentioned in the research logs. The ghost-like figure speaks to me again. And just like that, it disappears, but seems willing to help me. Why is that thing clipping through the wall? I enter a nearby alien structure. Unfortunately, I'm missing a blue tablet to break its barrier. I search the surrounding area and find a small entrance to a volcanic cave. After making my way through, I find another structure. I use a purple tablet to deactivate a barrier and find the blue tablet behind it. I go through another barrier and find an alien thermal plant. Here, I learn about the power distribution on the planet and find blueprints for ion power cells. I go back to the SS Proposies and return to the deeper facility. <gasps> no, no, no. Get in, get in, get in! shooting fireballs at me. Oh my gosh. I enter inside and see the attempts to create a cure left a dead sea emperor fetus that I can study. The data reveals that the fetus was removed from its egg too early for it to survive. They needed a healthy young sea emperor to make the cure, but didn't have time to let it hatch naturally. The next room hosts a tube that funnels peepers into the facility. The peepers seem to carry the cure back to the surface and thereby keep the local ecosystem alive despite the Kara. I open up a new room with the blue tablet and find a large pool of water behind. Below, I finally see the creature that spoke to me, this time face to face. Hi. Are you here to play? No, no. The Sea Emperor Leviathan seems peaceful, and I managed to swim to the bottom of the pool to insert an ion cube. Yo, this must have been Fred when he went to heaven. He's peaceful now. He's happy. He had a Snickers and he ain't he's not angry anymore. Putting the ion cube in gives me a blueprint for the hatching enzymes needed to hatch the Sea Emperor's eggs. I'll need to collect a bunch of materials to craft the enzyme. The heck is all this stuff? I find the sea crown at the bottom of the Sea Emperor's basin. By using the portals in the structure, I get around quickly and collect the other ingredients. The ghost weed in particular is very hard to collect because the ghost leviathan attacks me every time I swim towards it. Eventually, I get frustrated and freeze the ghost leviathan in place with my stasis gun, then keep slashing at it until it dies. Man, it is really regretting its decision to chase the heck out of me now. <laughs> now that the ghost leviathan is dead, I collect the ghost weed and head back to my cyclops. With all the materials gathered, I craft the hatching enzymes and take it to the sea emperor. I help the young sea emperors hatch, and as the sea emperor is very old, she collapses in weakness and bids me farewell. Farewell. No. I follow the freshly hatched sea emperors outside and receive a drop of the concentrated cure. <gasps> complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. Let's go! I'm not dying anymore. Nice. Yo, thank you, kiddos. I appreciate you. you saved my life. Are we cool now? I I couldn't tell if he 
if we're cool or if he just... <gasps> Wait! I can lift the lock down, can't I? After it realizes that I'm cured, the cannon gets deactivated. I've disabled the quarantine, so now ships can arrive and leave this planet freely. So all that's left, of course, is to escape. We gotta build our rocket and get out of here. I use my new materials to finish assembling the escape rocket base, fuel reserve, and cockpit. Neptune 1 rocket online. <gasps> oh, it's done! Auxiliary power unit online. Communications systems array active. Pressurizing hydraulics. Life support systems online. Primary computer systems active. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Welcome home to all terror. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. What? One trillion credits? And I can't even land? Heck this planet. I'm not living in debt the rest of my life. We're going back. Take me back to the Subnautica planet. I'll go hang out with the peepers, my true friends. 